Today we're going to talk about something called functions within JavaScript. And when it comes to functions, at least within JavaScript, we basically have two different types. We have predetermined functions and we have user-defined functions. Now we did actually do predetermined functions in the past in some of the previous episodes, but I didn't actually refer to it as predetermined functions. So just to give you guys an example of what those are, I'm just going to go ahead and write out document.write parentheses semicolon. Now the document part is the object that we want to do something to and the right parentheses is a function. And it's what we call a predetermined function because it already exists within the JavaScript language. We don't actually have to create this thing because it already exists. Now the way you can recognize a function is that you have some kind of name and then you have parentheses coming after it. All functions are going to be looking something like this because that's just the way they're built up. Now, when it comes to user-defined functions, it's a function that we create ourselves. So we decide what we want to use it for and what it should do. And just to give you guys an example of why it could be useful to have functions, let's say we have a website and I want to do something inside the website with JavaScript, but not until the user has done something inside the website. For example, clicked on something or waited a certain amount of time, or maybe the mouse needs to hover on top of something. Then we can use functions because when you put stuff into functions, it won't actually run the function until we've actually called on it. So to give you guys an example here, let's actually go ahead and just continue writing something inside our document right here. I'm going to say clicked like so refresh the website. And as you guys can see, it says clicked. Now, if I put this inside a function that we create ourselves, a user defined function by writing function, space, then we need to give this function some kind of name. It could be just as an example, my script, you guys can call whatever you want. Parentheses, because we do need to have the parentheses afterwards that defines a function space, curly brackets, just like in CSS. And then inside the curly brackets is where we put our code. So if I were to copy our document right here, put it inside the function instead, you guys can see that once I refresh the website, it disappears. And that's because we haven't actually called in the function yet. Now, if I did want to have this text appear, you know, to actually have the code running from the function, I could go underneath here and just simply write out my script parentheses semicolon, because now we've activated the function and it's going to appear where we put this piece of code inside the website. So if we were to refresh, now you guys can see it says clicked again. Now, if I want to call in this function on certain events, and we haven't actually talked about events yet, because I think it's important we get the hang of functions first and talk about some of the, the different things that JavaScript has to offer some of the basics before we get into too much into events. But just to give you guys an example, let's say I want to have a piece of text inside my website. And when I click on this text, I want something to happen. I want to run this function down here. So if I say, click me, and do bear in mind, this is just a simple paragraph in HTML. It's not JavaScript code. Now, if I want something to happen, once I click on this thing up here, I could say that I want to put an event inside the HTML tag. I could also do it directly inside the code, but just for this exercise, let's go ahead and put it inside the HTML tag. So if I go inside my paragraph tag, the opening tag, I can actually create an event which JavaScript knows as a default, it knows a lot of these, uh, what do you call it, the names of these events. So if I were to go inside an HTML tag and say, for example, on click, which is a valid event we have in JavaScript, equal to double quotes, then I can actually put the name of my script inside this event, which basically means on click on this event, we want to run this function, okay? So if I go back to the website, refresh, you guys can see it says click me. If I click it, it says clicked. So the JavaScript code is not running until I've actually clicked it. Now this is just one, you know, purpose behind using functions. Functions can be used for many different things in JavaScript. We will be using it quite often, basically all the time. So it's very important you guys get familiar with functions within JavaScript. So you don't think it's something, you know, scary to get into it. It's, it should be a second nature at one point. So this is basically what I wanted to show you guys with functions. 
We will be talking more about functions in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.